Yorkshire need Bresnan and the tail to get another 115 to keep them in the hunt for a third successive trophy. While Middlesex need the new ball to take a clutch of wickets to keep them in the hunt. In other words, game on. Yeah, the Specsavers County Championship couldn't be set up better as it reaches its pulsating climax. We're here at Lords for Middlesex against Yorkshire. It's day three of uh, four, and uh, it should be a fascinating and really entertaining day as well. And just to remind you where we are in this game, Middlesex 270, Yorkshire 235 for six. At one stage in all sorts of trouble, but Bresnan and Hod rode to the rescue. Hod and Willie went late on, but Bresnan is still there, 72, not out. And the situation is simple. Yorkshire have to get... To 350 to get the necessary bonus points that keeps them in the game they then have to go on and win it if they get out for less than 350 and a new ball is 10 overs away then Yorkshire are out of the race Middlesex will still be in it well it promises to be a cracker Middlesex 270 all out Yorkshire 235 for six but there's another story Yorkshire needing to get to 350 and to win the game and to win the championship and they trail by 35 Bresnan is 72 Rafiq has played pretty well for his 20 a little partnership of 31 the new ball is due in 11 overs we're in for a great morning Dominic yeah we are in a few scenarios as you said also does he stick with his opening bowlers throughout with the new ball due in 11 so lots of things to consider for James Franklin as well as captain as Middlesex couple of wickets here and you'd expect uh, Middlesex to go on to bowl them out and then what they can do today to give themselves an opportunity to win but it's all set this first session I'm sure he's nervous Jason Gillespie what a position to be in at the end of uh, what's been an outstanding county championship Starts with Stephen Finn, so 11 overs before the new ball. Patterson, Brooks and side bottom. I think they've all got 50 somewhere along the way, so they're handy. What else have we got? We got a good pitch. Easy pace pitch. It did a little bit for medium fast bowlers who bowl a full length. Nine, 10, 11. They used to come out and just swing. Not now, they've just got to play. Got to play like batsmen if they can. Oh, there's runs here somehow. Finn's got Rafiq in his sights. It's gone for four. 239 for six. Good delivery. Surprise to Rafiq. He's not got a back paddle. You said it yesterday. He's got a man out on the hook for a number eight, and he's playing it like that. Got to have a back pad in there. Got to be positive, Middlesex. again and he's gone over slips he's got him right in his sights 245 for six he's unlucky isn't he uh, aggressive bowling from Finn right line look at this bang on the money hard for a, a number eight batsman to be fending them off cannot believe he's not got a bat pad I know two have flown over the slips already but get a bat pad in looks like he can't drop his hands it's struggling to sway and no wonder he's shaking his head oh, four more through slip he's tinkering with his slips he's gone first slip and probably fourth or fifth slip Bresnan I think he plays this plays it softly open face well, we saw with Murta's first over, he got a little bit of movement, didn't he? You're going to get that with the slope from the nursery. It's a good swing, but it's just a little bit of seam movement down. I, I'm, I'm just a bit confused. What are Middlesex trying to do here? Stop runs or take wickets? He 
there's more here. This will go for four up the hill. What should move on to 253 and another point and under 100. You know, when you, you it's a chase in, in some ways, this is a chase for for Yorkshire as a side, get it into the 90s, then the 80s, 70s, then it starts getting nervous. Can we do it? So at the moment, look, one one point closer to Somerset. It's what they're trying to get. They need two more points. They need to get to 350. Right, Finn to Rafik again. Here's another four. 50 partnership. Yeah, shake of the hand as well. So, uh, 100 partnership with Hod. Bresnan now 50 partnership with Rafik. Again, uh, through and catching height, past probably fifth, sixth slip. And uh, it's Rafik who goes on to 33 from 45. That's that partnership. 53 from uh, 73. I just think all of a sudden here, Middlesex have just missed a trick by allowing them to uh, just get in here. Field change is a fly slip. There he is. Oh, he's dropped him. Nick Compton is at fly slip. He's at one of these positions you think, what's he doing? He just about gets to this. Well, perfect. The plan, set it up, should have worked. Drop two now, Compton. Drop one at uh, third slip and got there, should have taken it. Should have taken it. Hit all the hard work. Gets another go at Rafiq. 261 for six. Flashes one past the outside edge. Outside edge. Down again. Holly Rayner. Chances galore for Middlesex. Nerve setting in, possibly. Went quick. Went quickly, but yesterday we saw Ollie Rayner make it look very easy. Was it his catch? Was it first slips catch? I think once you see it, you've got to go for it. It's nerves, it's got to be. Ollie Rayner catches everything. He gets a finger end towards first slip. Yeah, yeah. No ball. That's it. Well, look, he's questioning that. I used to love this when I used to umpire him. I call an old ball and the baller comes in and hey, what's up with that? Tight. Too in, tight. Into the seventies, Bumble. Lead by two. It's boiling up, is this game? Two seventy two for six. Pulled away and gone fine. Evades the man in the deep. Moves to 46, Rafik. I bet he's irritated. Me. He's been jumping all over the shop at times, nicking the odd ball, been dropped down at third man as well. Now he's had a hook at Stephen Finn. There's a man out, there's two men out. 
He gets it fine enough where you put your fine leg. is in a little bit, but it evades him. Tim Breslin's just going about his business. I bet Rafik's really winding him up. It is a very Yorkshire performance, this. If you've looked at them over those last two or three years when they've won championships, yes, they've got some runs at the top, but their middle order, their lower middle order, have got uh, a whole heap of runs and got them out of trouble on a number of occasions. 279 for six. That's why they need 350 to get the extra three points. Just see the frustration in the Middlesex bowlers. James Franklin, the captain, just feels probably at the minute that things aren't going their way. And have another window of opportunity when I have to take the second new ball. Somerset probably watching, thinking, keep going, Yorkshire, doing well at the minute. They'll be sitting there watching, thinking, we just want Yorkshire to keep batting here. And then once they get close to 350, then they'll be desperate for Middlesex to swap and just start getting wickets. The absolute ideal for Somerset fans is that Yorkshire get three, four, nine, and take as long as possible to get it. Third man has been peppered. How good a cricketer has Tim Bresnan been, by the way, over the years? Batting at five, you looked at that scorecard on day one, you thought, oh, that may be one position high. I know he's got runs this summer and he's played really well. He's a real fighter. Gives it absolutely everything for Yorkshire. Tell you what as well, I thought he was the standout of all the bowlers. I know Brooks got wickets. I thought they all bowled very well. But Bresden made something happen when the ball was at its oldest. He came on and he moved it down the slope against the left hand as he was very unlucky with the ball. Five first class hundreds, two first class hundreds last year and three in 2007. Two eighty four for six. Oh, inside edge, I think. Well, your point's a good one about speaking to the Yorkshire batsman getting wickets on flat pitches because he bowls here. He's brought up on bowling on a flat surface at Lords. There is that inside edge just going down the slope. Then you trade somewhere else. Driven. There is a sweeper. Bresnan will keep the strike and he's on 97. 291 for six. 294 for six. 49 for Rafik. 99 for Bresnan. Here's Lloyd and Colville. And Bresnan on strike. What a morning it has been for Yorkshire so far. Certainly advantage to them. Middlesex have had their chances, but they've blown them. Two catches dropped. Bresnan has not been dropped, though. He's played absolutely brilliantly. Given that extra responsibility of coming in at five, he has done a sensational job. So here he is on 99, facing Toby Rowland-Jones. Well and he's still on 99. In the morning so far, the story is that Middlesex are dropping the championship. It had to be nerves. The players who were rock solid. Partnership is 90. And Rafik has somehow just stuck in there. He's on 49, but Bresnan 99. Now then, leg by or runs? Leg by, he's still on 99. Well, a real scramble. 
<laughs> Tim Bresden might be thinking I've got an inside edge on that. Should be 100. Rob Bailey saw it differently. Does he get a nick on this? No, straight off the pad. And missing leg stump by about three sets as well. So... That'll be 50 for Rafiq. I would like to report it's been a chanceless innings, but that wouldn't actually be right. But it has been an invaluable one. Well, he's stuck in. He's been worked over by Stephen Finn. Real responsibility from Rafiq. They're staying out there with Bresnan. That partnership is 95. They've got to get through this new ball. He's still got a quest and to get to 350. No third man angled back. That'll do nicely. Jason Gillespie absolutely delighted with this performance. Of course, Rafiq only playing because Adil Rashid opted not to. We now go back to the Bresnan subplot on strike and on 99. I'm just thinking about what we've seen this morning from this pitch, it, is that it seems to have gone really placid. There was some movement yesterday for the medium pace, medium fast. But it seems to have gone very, very placid. I just wonder, as the game progresses, if he's going to spin. Looks dry. Yorkshire obviously seeing it as not spinning. They've played five seamers. And that'll do for Timmy Bresnan. What an innings this has been by the Yorkshireman. Doesn't go for four, it goes for three, but it's three runs that takes him to 102. The bats are off, the helmet's off. Outstanding by Tim Bresnan. Priceless innings this from a senior player. His sixth first-class century. And it's a big word, responsibility. They were in a real precarious position. And Yorkshire is still alive. And that uh, also took Yorkshire past 300, so that's another batting bonus point. So now it's another 48. 48 needed from these last four wickets. This partnership, by the way, worth 98 now. Still a long way to go, 48. Both these players have just gone past milestones. You get your batting head on again. Stay on 99 and then you get the delivery you want. Yes, a huge yes. Great support from the Yorkshire team. Telling innings. 100 at Lords, eh? Going down, I suspect. And if Yorkshire go on and win this title some stage tomorrow, the most important 100 of his career, I'd suggest. Yeah, this is his sixth. He came in at 32 for three. Bresnan wants two, but I think he's only going to get one. 100 partnership between Bresnan and Rafiq. Came together when Willie was out last night, 204 for six. They've got it up to 304 for six.
we've talked about all eyes from this game at Somerset. Right now, it's the other way. Somerset, all eyes on this game. Pulled away in the air, but it's going to fall. No, it's not even going to fall. It's going to go all the way. Six. Saw the man down there at the deep fine leg looking as though he was just going to take it on the bounce, but in fact, he was just watching it sail over his head and it was very close to a no ball. It's an extraordinary shot from Rafiq. He's taken a couple of blows on the body. The Tim Mert at less pace, 77 miles an hour, tests him out with that short ball. He hits it into the stand. Swatted away, I think it's going to go for four, it is. These runs are beginning to hurt Middlesex now, the lead is up to 47. Surely Yorkshire are going to get to 350 here and stay in the race. Extraordinary when you think we turned up this morning and it was 115 and everybody thought, well, that's a very long way to go, especially with that second new ball due. Well, the new ball's done absolutely nothing and in fact, Yorkshire just got quicker and quicker as far as their run rate's concerned. Championship season. Yeah! Bowls him! At last, at last, Middlesex say they've got rid of Rafiq. And they are still, still in with a shout. Or rather, Yorkshire have still got work to do to get this to this 350. And they've changed the ball. Then it's done the trick, breaks the partnership. He's played so well. Murta with that probing full length scrambled seam goes through the gate between bat and pad. At long last, this partnership is broken. It's Tim Murta who does the trick. But this young fella, 25 years of age, Azim Rafiq has played so well for Yorkshire. 65, 318 for seven. That's why I think Yorkshire will probably pull out at 350 if they get there. Madison, every run being cheered by the Yorkshire supporters here. Three more of them there. Yeah. Got that through the offside. Another cheer goes up as Panison gathers more runs, four of them this time. 3-3-3, three, three, three. so just 17 away. When they were 50-odd for four, 53 for four. Set to be going to be 3-3-3 three, three, three for seven and still in the race for the championship. They'd have taken it every single time. And it's down to a little bit of Patterson, who has 11, but mainly down to Tim Bresnan, who's been quite brilliant. Better and gone. Slightly fuller from Finn and Patterson fends it away to slips. A good catch. One had to stick soon. So Middlesex getting their eighth wicket. Yorkshire 333 for eight, or are they? Checking for the no ball. It's close. It's really close. Got to be behind the line, not on it. It's mighty, mighty close. Maybe a stump. Mm. Well, it'll... Does that? He'll land behind the line at any any stage. I think it probably does from that shot. Just, just lines obliterated, of course, where the bowl has been landing. So it's tricky. It's as marginal as it comes, I reckon. This.
Who are you with? No, I said bowler or batsman. It's out. Given as a fair delivery. So Rob Bailey's finger points skywards and Patterson has to go. Caught by Rayner for 11. It's 3.33 for eight. Yeah, every Yorkshire supporter was saying that's a no ball. Every Middlesex supporter was saying, no, there's a little bit behind the line. Just a fraction. The main man, the third umpire, said that's out. So still a nervous lunge for all concerned. Tim Breslin has to find 17 more from the tail after lunch to keep Yorkshire in the championship. What an innings from him so far. He's not thinking of the 108 he's got. He's thinking of the 17 more they need. Brilliant from Bresnan this morning. He's gone on to 108. He's batted to six minutes over six hours in this match. Frustration for Middlesex. They put catches down. It's been a long, hard toil for them. Bowlers have stuck at it well. They've taken the new ball. They're still pegging away and they're still in the hunt for the championship. As to a Yorkshire who will have uh, a nervous time over the next 40 minutes at lunch, then knowing that they need 17 more to secure an extra batting bonus point and keep in the hunt. Brilliant effort by Bresnan, 108, and the middle and lower middle order, Hod, 64, Rafiq, 65. Keep Yorkshire ticking along to 3-3-3 for eight. The bowlers have been very good. I don't think uh, they've caught very well. I'm not sure about some of the captaincy e either, but Murta has two, Roland Jones four, and Finn, on the stroke of lunch, gets his second wicket. In the air and gone. Just poked up to mid on. What do you do now, Tim Bresnan? You still need 16. Well, it's dramatic, is this? They've worked so hard, Yorkshire, but they've only got one wicket left. After the break, a new batsman at the crease, a number 10, and it's a prod to mid on. A snatch for Gubbins, a wicket for Tim Murta. Everybody on the edge of the seats here. Jack Brooks has gone for a zero, 3.34 for nine. Yorkshire's county championship title just hanging by a thread here. It takes a 38-year-old to come out to the middle. Someone who signed a, a year extension to their contract. To try and see him over the line. Ryan Sidebottom joins Tim Bresnan. Two lads, Yorkshire through and through. Need to get 16 more. Take a court mid on. Tim Murta uh, just poke up in the air from Brooks. Oh, he might have nicked that and it just didn't carry a nervous look back. Takes the leg side option. Very good batting, Shane. All his experience there, Bresnan. That's four runs ticked off, 11 more needed, 3-3-9 three, three, for nine. Well, this is as good a game as we've seen all summer. Field comes in, and he knows it's going to be full length because deep backward squares come inside. If it's up, it's going. Shane, all his experience there, Tim Bresnan. What a wonderful cricketer he is. Often in situations like that, they do something headless. Runs down the pitch, exposes his stumps, gives his wicket away. It was aggressive. It just wasn't stupid. Very, very sensible aggression. Just a guide down to third man. It's into single figures. Nine needed. Leave side bottom with two deliveries. Side bottom will take one. Oh! 
just jams his back down on it. Don't miss that, Sidi. deliveries to go in this what a game the pitch has died so maybe the Yorker go for the Yorker looks like the most deadly delivery try and hit the toes at the base of the stumps toe end good work from the keeper stops the boundary 344 for nine didn't nick it Spectators, and viewers, the nerves will be shredded. Cut away. Will Bresnan risk two? No, just one. Good block. Five needed. 3.45 for nine. Thanks, Nasser. Nerve jangling half hour after lunch. Yorkshire losing uh, Brooks for naught. 3.45 for nine. Those five runs tantalizingly close. Bresnan still there. He's been batting 402 minutes. Spurned by Bresnan, he's not uh, wanting to risk side bottom up at uh, the non striker's end or the striker's end. Has there ever been a time when people have just watched each individual ball harder than this? The well, suspense is just ridiculous. It, it, fantastic if Yorkshire do get to 350 because it keeps everybody in, it keeps Middlesex in, obviously. In, the race for the championship. York should still be there for the chance. Pulled away by Bresnan. No run taken. Everybody out now. Saving two. Three balls left in the over. One blow away. Bresnan thinking he mm, might have got six there if I'd middled it. We got one ball. The field will be back. Then the field comes up. Then he's got a decision. Do I have a go? Get one run away with a boundary, well, with a four. This is where your mind must be doing overtime. I'll see it get the boundary and then tip and run. Whipped into the leg side. It's only one hit firmly. Franklin, the captain, the fielder. The boundary away. Down to the leg side, Tim Murta. Oh, half volley ish and side bottom right behind it. 346 for nine. Taking one. Every time he does that, I'm never sure. No, I'm not. I keep thinking, was that the right thing? Should he not just wait when that field comes up? He's one hit away. Is that his opportunity then, if he waits for the last couple of balls where they try and keep Bresnan away from the strike at the other end, is that his chance then to try and hit a boundary? It's very much, a, in recent times anyway, it's been an Australian way of playing. Just take every run. Doesn't matter if your number 11's in with a batter. Just take the run. Two slips now, field in. Nobody out on the boundary on the offside of the leg side. Just fine leg and third man back.
It's like if they get these three runs or Middlesex get the wicket, the game's going to continue. It feels like we're coming towards the end, but it's just the game within a game at a minute. Big appeal. I think that's hit the bat. 347 for nine. Back up the slope. No, just kept going on. Bat first, then pad. Taking it now, and it's only one. It's Faulkner, the fielder. <laughs> More applause for the single. Clipped off the legs, down to fine leg. It's only one. But he has taken it this time. So Yorkshire within touching distance now of 350. That it should come to this in the county championship. After a season of cricket, we're talking about one run to get one point to keep the championship hopes of Yorkshire alive. Trying to get hold of that ball. Ah! Oh, and the pads could be... No, I tell you what. That is so close. How it must have pitched outside leg stump. It must have done for Rob Bailey not to give that. They <laughs> talk about the pressure on the players. Imagine being an umpire now. That was full. It was straight. And it's decked away. Pitched outside leg stump. That was there to hit. Give me a ball to hit. That's well, it. The thing is, it was so full that it, it may well have just pitched on leg stump, but... It's not being given, so they live to fight another day. One run, that's all it is. One run. Solid defence again. Resolute with a capital R. Here's the Hawkeye. As you said, it doesn't matter because it's been given not out. And look at that, wickets hitting, impact in line, pitching in line. Well, I thought it had to be mighty close because of the fullness of the ball. Had to be close. Got added drama. Also pretty sure now that he hit that ball, the LBW shout. Another roar goes up. The overs bowled, one off it. 3.49 for nine. The added drama, of course, is that it's dark. And getting darker by the second. It's in the hands of the umpires, this decision, whether they stay on or go off. They took a reading, remember, on Tuesday evening. And if that reading is the same now as it was on Tuesday... The umpires are duty-bound to take the players off the field. Yep, purely the umpire's decision. Have to go, says Rob Bailey. We're going to have to go, he says. I'm sorry. The reading will be the same or worse than it was. Never that benchmark figure on Tuesday. So the drama will continue now. There's just a few spots of rain in the air as well, so I think it's only a matter of time before they'd had to go off anywhere. Rice smiles all round from Murta, from Gillespie. Still grim determination. You can see the rain on the screen there. So grim determination still on the face of Tim Bresnan, who's been doubly brilliant. Six hours, 59 minutes he's batted for. He's 122 not out. Side bottom, Ryan side bottom, batted for 50 minutes. Here we go. This is the LBW that there was so much consternation about. The ball pitching in line, hitting the pad and going on to hit the stumps. But on the way to the pad, it's clipped the bat. It's a good decision from Rob Bailey. Really well done. Pressure on everybody here at Lords. Batsmen, bowlers, umpires. 
And the game tantalizingly poised. Yorkshire so close to that extra bonus point. 3.49 for nine. With Bresnan 122 not out. Side bottom uh, not out two. Just batted for 50 minutes to edge Yorkshire closer, closer to 3.50 and that point. The reason it's so important, of course, if you're just switching on, they need that bonus point and to win the match to win the county championship, even if uh, Somerset win down at Taunton. I don't think I've ever been as nervous. All that surmising in the studio, who's it going to be? Well, it is going to be Oli Rayner. And so now all eyes on the field. Tim Bresnan is on strike. Imperious, 122 to his name. Yorkshire need one to get to this magical 350 and then they've got to win the game assuming that Somerset win down at Taunton is he going to have a deep mid-wicket? No mid on and mid off are inside the circle Ooh, free it <laughs> go for it Brezzy come on put your foot down and smite it here we go Oh, that was the ball. Short and wide and nobody out at backward point. Or... Anyway, he's missed it. Oh, down the hill, past the outside edge. Non-spinning off break. A little bit of drift. Oh, it's a whisker away. He's saying, frankly, he's just saying, it's yours if you want to go over the top. An hour and nine minutes off the field. I know. Oh, he's blind with 50 minutes. Side bottom's been batting prior to that. Two hours worth of purgatory. It's mid on. James Franklin, the captain at slip. There's only one ball left in the off. over. They've still not got the single. Oh, he oh, it hits mid on again. It's a maiden. They still need one. <laughs> Would you believe it? An over of off spin from Red, a good over as well, apart from perhaps that first ball. Outside. Huge appeal again. I'm sure it's pitched outside leg. We had one of these earlier, didn't we? We thought it might have pitched outside and it didn't, but it was the inside edge of Side Bottom's bat that got him the reprieve. What about this one? Look where he stood covering all stumps. It's just pitched outside leg, hasn't it? Surely it was worth Bresnan taking a punt against Rain. It had to be against Rain. Six balls of offspin with everybody in the battle this far. He had to take a punt in that previous over. Yeah. And that'll do nicely. Ryan Sidebottom as if he's just won a test match. Ball trickles away for four. That's one part of this equation for Yorkshire. Don't they know it? Superb from side bottom. 54 minutes is batted, and he's the man who's got Yorkshire the vital bonus point. They're still in the county championship race, Yorkshire, but they've got to go on and win this game if they're to win the county championship. Very well, that Yorker from uh, Toby Rowland Jones. Now then, how's this table looking? Yorkshire have crept another point onto 211. 
key game is down at Taunton. Somerset are in a great position. Nottinghamshire need, what, another 430? And the three wickets down. Well, in simple terms, what it means is those top three teams are still in the race. Still got a three-way race. And there's a day and a couple of hours to go in the county championship season. This will run away for four. Plays that well. There's Bresnan. We saw him play it. To Time and again yesterday plays it with quite a straight front leg and doesn't get right down at all to play the sweep. It's more a little paddle down to find third man. Good. <laughs> Squirted off the offside. It'll go for four. Look as though he was trying to pick that up over square leg. Thick outside edge from side bottom of blade. Squirted through the offside. They all count. Oh, big shot. Into the stand. Six penneth. 371 for nine. Yorkshire lead by over 100, 101. Making it more and more and more difficult for Middlesex now. When you look at this from Middlesex's perspective, they're 100 behind, they've got to bat again, they've got to win the match, they've got to get 250 and entice Yorkshire into some sort of chase. At eight and over, nine and over, whatever it is. Side bottom. Growing in confidence. That's his best score of the season. It's his third four. Played with fluency and aplomb and a glorious little flick away on the leg side. A bit of freedom in his cricket now. There's a tweet coming. Arise, Sir Tim. Tim Bresman. Best thing to, to come out of Yorkshire since Rhubarb. a good pick roars of appreciation for another four well Middlesex will be frustrated now there'll come a time when they've got to get the batting head on and still thinking how they can win this game win the championship Yorkshire's still in there. 3.79 for nine. What does Ryan Sidebottom look to do now? Hey! Bolt him through the gate, and that is it. Yorkshire's innings comes to a close. Ollie Rayner wraps it up, gets it down the slope and beats Ryan Sidebottom. Brilliant from Tim Bresnan. Most of the Middlesex players go straight up to him and say congratulations. He's a very popular man, not only in his own team, but around the circuit. And you can see why he gives it absolutely everything. Look what it means to his teammates. Single-handedly, he has kept his side in the championship and he's pumping them up even as he walks off. Unbeaten on 142. He came to the crease when his side were 32 for three. He leaves with them 390 all out. You won't see a better knock in first-class cricket 
under the circumstances, having to shepherd the tail, get up to that 350 to give them just the chance to win their third championship title. It's been an outstanding knock. Tough day for a captain, James Franklin. Situations you don't often find yourself in. How you captain when you've got a game within a game, you've got different milestones that you have to try and stop the opposition from getting to. The seamers just kept on coming. Just a few chances early on. They've got a job to do now with the bat, not only to score the runs, but do it at a decent enough rate. Tim Bresnan, there you go. 142 off 293 balls. Not a career best, but the longest he's batted. Extraordinary not well supported by Andrew Hodd, 64 for 104. They're in trouble when those two got together. Nazim Rafiq as well, showed real courage for his 65. Bowlers were pretty good. They were let down in the field. There were three dock chances. Maybe Oli Rayner was slightly under bowled, but he was going at uh, over four runs and over. Murta had three. Finn had two. Roland Jones, the pick of the bowlers, four for 73. And the day might have just started with Middlesex just in front. Now it's very much Yorkshire. 120 runs ahead. Outstanding from Tim Bresnan. He's given his side more than a decent chance of taking their third championship. Gone. Snapped up at slip. A little tentative poke from Robson and side bottom after these heroics with the bat. Strikes in his first over. It's just what uh, Yorkshire wanted. A wicket in the first over. Smart catch from Lees at third slip. Momentum. Yorkshire have it, don't they? Shown that with the bats and Bresnan and now with the experience of uh, side bottom. Good catch. We've seen quite a few go down. Uh, Robson again fails in the game. And uh, it's side bottom with that first wicket. Delight. Pair for Robson, delight for that man, Jason Gillespie. Nord again, Robson goes, uh, Middlesex, one for one. Yeah. Bolden, Compton just walking into the shot, going nowhere. He's gone for one. Yorkshire a cock a hoop, Brooks has struck. And Middlesex are two for two. Twice in the game for Brooks. Left it first innings, LBW, this is a better delivery, draws him forward, likes to stay deep, doesn't he, Compton? Tries to get forward, he's on the move again. The angle just went in from Brooks. Hits the surface, look at that seam, top of off stump. Delight for Brooks, running towards the fans, the Yorkshire fans. Miserable game at the moment for Compton, he goes through at one. Middlesex two for two. Good over from Adam Lyde. Well played, Nick Govins, David Milan. Govins 39, Milan 37. Big day tomorrow, say it every time in this match. Well played, Tim Bresnan. What a knock. Started the day, Yorkshire were probably third in the running. Somerset top, I reckon, and then Middlesex, if they got early wickets, and Yorkshire, they were under pressure. They had to get that 350, and Tim Bresnan did that. There you go. Stephen Finn was waiting to come in as a night watchman. Again, another thing you wouldn't necessarily do in this position, but what Middlesex are thinking, we'll find out tomorrow. One day left. County Championship 2016. Day that started with Middlesex at the top. It ends with Somerset at the top. And can either of these sides find a way of going past Somerset tomorrow you'd feel that Yorkshire are favorites but you never know on this ground it was very difficult to get the wickets required to win a match historically this is a drawn ground in championship cricket and every Somerset fan around the world will be hoping it's a drawn ground tomorrow yeah, I think Somerset actually would have been pretty happy with the way that Middlesex played that tomorrow you just got to keep on watching Still near impossible to call. Sidebottom's had a good day. 
Got Robson out early, and then Brooks got Compton with a really good delivery. They tried everything. There's not a lot in this pitch. There were seven bowlers used in the end. Side bottom had one, and Brooks bowled Compton with a beauty. So there we are. Tim Bresnan getting his side up to 390 with 142. Middlesex 39 runs behind. Still all to play for tomorrow. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I've got Ryan Sidebottom alongside me. Ryan, just how dramatic was that middle afternoon, mid midday session? Yeah, not good for me. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. A lot of dramatic, exciting, tense. Um, you know, I was up there with Dave Willie on the balcony while we are you know, ticking partnerships off. And I turned around and said to him, I said, I'm going to end up being out there and needing 12 or something like that. So there you go. Um, you know, I suppose I put my mouth in it. But yeah, I mean, what a great day for county cricket. You know, very exciting. Could go either way tomorrow. Last day of the county championship. So absolutely brilliant. Well, you had to get to 350 for that bonus point to keep your championship hopes alive. And then the bad light and the rain came at 349. And you had to sit up there for an hour. What was going on then? I don't know. I'd, I was an absolute nervous wreck. You know, normally the groundsman's getting his brush ready when I go out to bat. So, you know, to get my highest score of the season, you know, is obviously great. But Tim Bresen, I'm, I mean, you know, the law order are absolutely outstanding this game. And, you know, to get us into a decent position, to get 350, you know, I suppose it, the, the three, three in a row is still alive anyway going into tomorrow. Certainly is. Um, you were the man who got Yorkshire past 350. We've got the moment for you to have a look at here. Yeah, I mean, no fine leg. Uh, the lads are taking the mick out of me lately about my about my batting, and also, you know, they say my my bat's a bit of a plank. So it was quite nice to tickle, get a thick hedge down to down to fine leg. So you know, really delighted for for myself and, and Tim and, and the team. No thick edge, that. That was an elegant clip off the toes, mate. Come on. Yeah, well, you know, I, I blocked a few, so I'm, I'm sure Fred Boycott will be uh, <laughs> tweeting me tonight saying good digging in. But, yeah, you know, absolutely brilliant. You know, a lot, a lot of lads were out in the back, I think, having a smoke and, and not watching. So that shows how tense it was. I suppose it was, was for everyone in the crowd. And then, of course, two quick wickets when Middlesex batted again. You got one in your first over. Yeah, you know, it's always nice to, I suppose, set the tone. You know, the guy, Milan and, and Gubbins have batted really well from then on. Mm. Um, it's always nice to get a few early ones, but momentum shifted back to them. They played really well, they dug in, and, you know, again, like I say, it's going to be an exciting finish tomorrow, I'm sure. Certainly, there's plenty of hard work to do tomorrow. You've got to get those wickets, haven't you? Yeah, lots of hard work. We'll have to wait and see. I'm sure they'll come out and play a few more shots because they have to win also. Mm. Um, so it, it's really set, you know, poised really nicely for going into tomorrow. And, you know, the lads are excited, you know, no better place, home of cricket, you know, going into tomorrow and it could be a great day. Ryan, thanks very much. Thank Brilliant you. day for you today. Thank you. And best of luck tomorrow. Thanks ever so much.